ego hates this. It truly is the ego's kryptonite, and yet it is the one thing that will set you free. If you want to unblock the flow in your life, if you want to attract your dreams, manifest them into your world, then get a hold of this teaching. Let it take root on the inside of you. It's a short video today, folks, but it's time to get the ego in check and unblock the flow. This is how. My name is Ben. Welcome to Elevate. Well, thank you for tuning in today, folks. I'm so blessed by your company and I'm glad you found the channel, however you have. Before we jump into it, a little bit of housekeeping. First of all, if you're blessed by today's content, why not consider subscribing to the channel and joining the family if you haven't done so already. I post videos like this every single day of the week. There's more than 500 videos just like this one available to you free of charge, so browse the channel. Have a look at the playlists. There will be something there that speaks to you, I'm sure. If you're journeying through something and you're stuck, my email's in the description below. Reach out. I'm happy to get alongside you. And if you want to dive deeper into universal principles, then come and join me in my online coaching program. Once a week, we dive really deeply into these sorts of principles and topics. So it'd be great to see you there. But on with the show, folks. Today I want to talk with you, even just for a few minutes, about the ego and, well, really, the ego's kryptonite. This is the one thing that your ego hates. It is the one thing that your ego makes it very difficult for you to do. And yet, by simply doing this one thing, you unlock the flow of the universe in your life. You literally unblock the paths that the universe is trying to flow blessings and manifestations to you through. And folks, let me just tell you right from the start, this one thing, this one thing that the ego hates and yet if you can get a hold of it, that it will set you free? Well, it's simple. It's forgiveness. Now don't click off just yet, because this goes deeper than what you might think. When we say the word forgiveness, when we talk about forgiveness, we frame it in this usual context of somebody's hurt me, someone's upset me, someone's offended me, and so it's my right to be hurt and upset and offended. And therefore, I won't offer forgiveness. They've done the wrong thing by me. That hurt can be very, very real, and it's that hurt that, well, it just it stops us from letting go. But the truth to forgiveness, and you see, in our modern world, we have it so mixed up. We have it so around the wrong way. We think that to forgive somebody is to release them and to let them go. But in fact, it is not that at all. Forgiveness has zero to do with that person who has hurt you. Forgiveness is for one person and one person alone, and it is for you. Forgiveness is only for you. It's only for me. When people have been in my life in the past and they've hurt me, they've offered me opportunities to be upset and offended, if I choose to hang on to that, it only affects me. It doesn't affect that person. They go on with their day. But if I choose to forgive, even if I never tell them, even if I never speak the words, I forgive you, it releases me. Therefore, unforgiveness is the root of bitterness and resentment that puts a big stop sign up to the universe when you're trying to manifest. It gets the ego all high and mighty. And you hear people saying, I've got a right to be upset. You know, that person, they really offended me. They really hurt me. That breakup damaged me. That love lost, I'll never be the same. Folks, you will never be the same, but that's a good thing. It's time to reframe it and understand 
to forgive the person, the people, the situation, the event, to offer forgiveness. You're not offering it to somebody else to release them. You're offering it to yourself. You are releasing yourself. So how does this all work and why is it so hard to forgive? Well, folks, that's simple. It's so hard to forgive because it's the ego's most hated thing. And the ego is the driver of subconscious behavior. So sometimes, well, sometimes we just need to grow up a little bit and take a stand in authority. Take our position of power and say, while I don't necessarily feel like forgiving that person, I'm going to do it. I'm going to speak it out. Now, if it doesn't resonate with you on the inside, it's okay. This is the biggest mistake people make. They come to me and they say, Ben, I'm trying to forgive this person. I'm trying to forgive my husband, my wife, my parents, whoever it might be, my boss at work. But I just can't. I'm wrestling with it on the inside. And it is that wrestling with it on the inside that keeps you perpetually in unforgiveness and the stop sign held up to the universe. How do you stop wrestling with unforgiveness? When someone has broken your heart, they've slammed the door in your face and left you broken hearted and empty inside. How do you get through that wrestling with forgiveness? What do you do if you actually don't want to forgive them and you want to hang on to that hurt? Because folks, it's happened to all of us. You simply speak it out. You speak it out. Even if it's difficult, you speak out, I forgive them. Make the declaration because your actions will follow your words and your internal alignment comes from your actions and your words. When you take inspired action and you make inspired declaration, you use positive, high vibrational language, you in, invest in that energy. That's where internal alignment comes. This is why people get stuck on the wheel of unforgiveness. They say, I just, I can't forgive that person. I just can't get past it. That's okay. I'm not asking you to get past it today. I'm asking you just to declare it today. If it feels like you're lying to yourself, understand you are only lying to your ego. It's about time you knock that thing down from its high and mighty position that it stands in so that you can soften your heart and move forward towards your manifestation. The universe will not deliver to you what you want while you are stuck in a cycle of unforgiveness. There's too much ego in the way. Folks, we were created as expressions of love. To have an experience. Expressions of love sometimes get hurt. But to be able to keep expressing love, feeling it come in, and allowing it to flow through us and go out, we must live in a world where forgiveness comes quickly and easily. So folks, can I encourage you in this one thing? If you have struggled to manifest, if there's something in your life and you just can't seem to break through with it, get alone with your thoughts. Take some quiet time, be at peace, and start doing the inner work. Start asking yourself, where is the root of unforgiveness in my life? Is it something from childhood? Is it something that happened at work yesterday? Folks, be quick to bless. Be slow to anger. Speedily and hastily forgive all that hurt you, for you are not God. So you don't deal out the repercussions and the karma. That's not your responsibility. My name is Ben. His name is God. It's my responsibility to live in His flow. God is the example of forgiveness. So then I should be too. Folks, if you will find that root of bitterness, if you will find that unforgiveness, and you will be quick to bless, slow to anger, and fast to declare forgiveness, even when you don't want to, then you will move quickly towards your manifestation. Believe me when I tell you, this might sound a little bit esoteric to you, but this has power. Forgiveness is the one thing that will knock the ego off its high and mighty position. And once the ego starts getting out of the way, your true, authentic, higher self will bubble up to the surface. And folks, that is the version of you 
that manifests every dream you have in your heart, that sees every blessing come to pass and lives in the fullness of that beauty. So if that's the life you want, you've got to start with forgiveness. I hope this message has blessed you folks. I hope it's spoken to you. I hope it's met you right where you're at. That's all I've got time for today, but before I go, if you haven't already done so, please can subscribe to the family here. Go and hit the button. Share the video around, drop a like if it's blessed you. Subscribe the channel. Subscribe the channel. <laughs> I'll learn to talk one day. Browse the channel. There's stacks of videos on here, folks. Something sure to bless you. But do come back tomorrow. I love you so much. Never be afraid to reach out. Peace.